This is a pignut hickory, and it's a beautiful tree with a fun name and a cool history, and it gets its name from its fruit, or nut. Now, the hickories are well known for their nuts, especially the pecan tree. And yes, the pecan is in the same genus as hickories, and it's the genus of caria. But unlike pecans, the pignut is extremely bitter, so much so that back in colonial times, the farmers would forgo this bitter treat and just feed them to the pigs instead, thus earning this hickory's name of pignut hickory. Now the wood is valuable because it's strong and durable and historically the Native Americans used it for things that needed to be strong and durable. Things like tool handles and lacrosse sticks and similarly the colonists used it for things like axe handles and wagon wheels. In fact it's so strong that Andrew Jackson was given the nickname of Old Hickory by his troops for his strength and his tenacity. I could tell you from someone who's climbed a fair share of hickories to prune them that they are a tough tree and even the smallest branch is just surprisingly wiry and stubborn. Now without a doubt the pignut hickory is my favorite tree for fall color. There's just no mistake in it especially in the early morning sun or that last hour of sunlight before sunset you can spot a pignut hickory from a mile away. There's just no other tree color like it. I mean other trees turn yellow in autumn but this is like a deep golden amber, like a, a rich yellow okra color that you're used to seeing in a Renaissance painting. Now there are several species of hickories that are common to pretty much the east half of the United States and Canada, and it can be kind of tricky to tell them apart. But if you look at the leaf, the bark, and the nut, then those three things together, you can usually differentiate them. Now starting with the leaf. Now hickories have a compound leaf, which means that this entire structure is one leaf. And these smaller leaves are known as leaflets. And the pignut hickory has usually five to seven leaflets. The bark of a pignut hickory looks like long, tightly woven strands. And the nut of a pignut hickory is usually relatively thin. Now these traits are true of other hickories as well, but all three of these characteristics together on the same tree, you can feel pretty confident that you found a pignut hickory. They're hardy from zones four through nine and they do well in moist, well-drained soil in the full sun. They do grow a large taproot, which can make it tricky in digging them up and transplanting them successfully. And for that reason, you don't typically see them in tree farms and such, but you can probably find them as saplings or even as seedlings growing as volunteers in your yard if you have a parent tree in the neighboring area. The squirrels go mad for these nuts and they bury them for a winter food source and oftentimes they're left to germinate and if you were so inclined you could let that seedling grow into the fine amazing specimen tree that is the pignut hickory.